Okay, so we're going to talk about um, how to use the new ClassWiz Casio calculator to um, solve problems involving bino the binomial distribution. Um, there's two functions on the this new calculator that we can use. Um, and I'm going to go into option number seven, um, which is the probability with the distributions option. And we get, um, it looks like four different options, but actually if we scroll down, there's two different um, binomial distribution options. There's the probability distribution option here, number four. And if we scroll down, there's the um, binomial distribution with this CD, which stands for cumulative distributions. And that one's really, really useful. Um, this option here, number four, which I'll choose first, and we're going to choose the variable option, works out probabilities of the probability distribution, the binomial being equal to a particular value of x, um, which the formula does that we know about already. So this is just doing the um, ncx times the probability of success to the power of x times the probability of failure, which you might use for one minus p here. Um, I tend to use q of n minus x. So this just works out that formula. So if, for example, we've got a probability distribution where um, our x fits the binomial distribution and we have, for example, um, 10 trials and the probability of success is 0.2. Um, and let's say the question wants to find out the probability that x is equal to say 4. So the probability that we have 4 successes. Then we take n to be 4 on our calculator, sorry x to be 4 on our calculator, n is 10 and the probability of success is 0.2. And that will just work out the answer. If we press equals a couple of times we get that that probability is equal to 0.0881 to three significant figures. Um, so that's the same as if we put those numbers into the formula, you'd get the exact same answer. What's a little bit more useful, I think, is the option that we didn't choose first of all, which is when we scroll down this CD option here, number one. And what that does, again, we're gonna choose the variable, is work out probabilities rather than being equal to x we're going to work out probabilities up to and including a particular value of x and that's going to allow us to work out so if we do the same thing here if we have x is binomial with 10 trials probability of success being 0 0.2 we can put the same numbers in so say x is less than or equal to 4 that we put in earlier. So we've got the same numbers here, but what this is now going to calculate is the probability that x is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, add those up and output the answer. So it's going to speed up our calculations quite significantly. So this one's coming out at 0 0.967 to three significant figures. So it's going to allow us to do these cumulative distributions on our calculator. Now you might be thinking, well, we have a table of values in our formula booklet that does that for us. And yes, we do, but that table of values only gives us particular numbers based on these n and p values. So it might not have, for example, the distribution for um, n being 17 and the probability of success being 0 0.13. You're probably not gonna find that in your binomial uh, tables, but we do have it um, here, we can just type in, and let's again, let's say I want to work out the probability that x is less than or equal to seven. So rather than having to work out zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and adding them up, this is gonna add them all up for us straight away 
without us having to do very much at all. And that's coming out at 0.999.